I welcome you once again to the CUBS uh, resource ICT paper one, where we are still looking at how to respond to these questions. We have so far looked at item one, item two, uh, that is part one, item two, and then let's now look at item three. So item three is, is saying that students at modern high school are frequently using smartphones and other devices during classes and late in the night, leading to distractions, poor academic performance and health issues such as eye strain and sleep uh, deprivation. The school principal wants to address this issue through a campaign to educate students on responsible use of ICT. Task, prepare a presentation for the students about the negative consequences of excessive ICT use and suggest strategies for balanced and health usage. So we need to address this task and ensure that we are good to go with it. So starting with the scoring guide, you find that uh, when it comes to this, we shall have a focused introduction, which is carrying one mark. And then if the learner identifies four or more of the negative consequences, that is under health issues, poor performance, ETC is going to score four marks. If you identify three and explain them, three marks, you identify and explain two, two marks, identify and explain one, that is one mark. And if you have not responded, zero mark. Then from there, provide strategies for balanced ICT usage. If you state four or more, you get four marks. You state three and explain them, three marks. You suggest and explain two, two marks. Suggest and explain one, one mark. Then if you give uh, a focused conclusion, you get one mark, and the format of the document also carries one mark. And so this number also carries 11 marks. So at this point, let's look at how best we can respond to this item. So approach and response like the way we have been doing in the previous numbers. So you find that this question is also taken from element of construct two because it is under section B, part one, where the learner appreciates ICT safety and proper management of e-waste. We looked at uh, section B, part one and part two, that they are, they are taken from the two topics from the syllabus. So now let's look at how best we can respond to this. Now I start by giving my heading, that is ICT use and health campaign. And this one earns you a mark. Then from there, you give a focused introduction. Here I start by saying, the rapid adoption of information and communications technology among students has brought both benefits and challenges. At modern high school, the excessive use of smartphones and other devices has led to, to significant issues, including distractions in class, declining in academic performance, and health problems such as eye strain, uh, lack of sleep. So recognizing these concerns, the school principal aims to launch a campaign to educate students on responsible ICT usage. So that is the introduction, which will carry one mark. Then from there, let's look at the consequences of excessive ICT usage. We have eye strain due to prolonged exposure to screens can lead to digital eye strain characterized by symptoms such as bald vision, dry eyes, and headaches. This condition can worsen over time if not addressed. Then there is... Uh, Lack of sleep, which we are calling uh, uh, sleep deprivation, during, uh, using ICT devices late in the night, particularly before bed, disrupt sleep patterns by interrupting by interf by interfering with the production of uh, melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep, 
This can lead to chronic sleep deprivation, affecting students' overall well-being and academic performance. So this one is also a mark. Then more to that, academic distractions. So uh, reduced focus. The constant use of smartphones during class leads to distraction, reducing students' ability to concentrate on their studies. This can result in too lower academic performance as students fail to absorb and understand the material that is being taught. Then there is the, uh, decreased productivity. Excessive ICT use can also lead to procrastination, where students spend more time on entertainment and social media rather than on their studies, leading to missed deadlines and incomplete assignments. Then there is also the point of social effects, decreased face-to-face -face interactions, and also increased loneliness. Then let's look at the strategies for balanced and health ICT usage. One, we can look at the uh, screen time limits, but before that, this can earn us four marks. Then uh, looking at uh, the strategies for balanced and health ICT usage, one, we are saying that screen time limits encourage students to set limits on their screen time, particularly during study hours and before bedtime. This can be achieved through built-in parental controls on devices or third-party apps that monitor and restrict usage. Then there is uh, scheduled breaks, implementing a routine of taking regular breaks during screen use can help reduce the risk of eye strain and improve concentration. The, the 20-20-20 rule, looking at something 20 feet away from 20, uh, I mean for 20 seconds every 20 minutes, is an effective way to prevent digital eye strain. Then uh, promote physical activity, encourage students to engage in physical activities and hobbies that do not involve screen time. This can include sports, reading, or creative arts, which help maintain health balance between digital and offline life. Then more to that, education on responsible use. Organize workshops and seminars to educate students on the importance of responsible ICT use. Topics should include the risk of overuse, strategies for managing screen time and importance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Then from there, we need to have a conclusion. So here you earn yourself four marks. And then more to that, we are looking at a conclusion. So the proposed campaign will equip students with the awareness and habits needed for balanced ICT use, boosting both their academic performance and overall well-being. So that is our conclusion which has a mark and when you look at the format of our document so where we had the introduction body conclusion well explained also the format gives us one mark and at the end of it all we have our 11 marks so that is it and Continue following up on YouTube channel for more of the upcoming episodes on this very paper, which we are soon completing. So remember that the, the, the scoring for element of construct 2, where the learner appreciates ICT safety and manages e-waste, we are looking at if the learner has mentioned or identified relevant cause or a stakeholder, then how the learner has explained how it is applied or used and the mitigation measures, how it can be avoided. So here we have completed working on this. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of the upcoming video lessons. Remember to take a copy of these website design books and also other new curriculum books so that you get the resources for passing ICT. Jabres, and remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel.